at this beautiful river very very good and the sunset is super super good it's hard to win hard to pin one day I look out for you to soothe away the blues in your eyes thing about traveling alone is like you can stop anywhere just you can literally stop anywhere take out time if you see something interesting and this is exactly what I'm doing I just in the road I just saw this two horse they're eating so interesting hello everyone this is Orji Han and welcome to my channel and thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing Today I'm going to take you to Pua, which is in the Thai province of Nan in northern Thailand. Nan actually borders Laos and I visited in September of 2020. After planning this trip 3 months in advance, I finally packed my stuff and was ready for the journey. I said goodbye to Susan who had to work and so could not come got in a taxi to take me to the bus station. There are two easy ways to travel to Nan. You can either fly or drive. The flight was expensive because I was traveling during holiday. So I booked a VIP bus which was very comfortable. When I got on the bus, I knew it was going to be a long ride. Bangkok to Nan is 671 kilometers or about a 9 hour bus ride. Once the bus started moving, I messaged my friend Nog, who I was going to visit in Nan and told him that I was on the way before going to sleep. When I woke up, it was already morning. Looking out the window, I saw that almost everything was green and just like that, I felt like I was in my hometown in Northeast India, with fewer cars, shorter buildings and lots of trees. I knew the air would be cool and fresh when I get off the bus. Hello everyone, this is Nocton. Hello, hi, good morning. Welcome to Bua. <laughs> okay, so then what's the plan? We go to your place or we yeah, go to the... Go first to my place. The bus station was pretty much empty when we arrived in Nan, but Nog was there to pick me up with his motorbike and he took me to my hotel which was called Go Hai O. The moment's gone before I realize I was out of my way. We sit and talk, I see you crying out. I really like the hotel surroundings. It was right next to a rice paddy and since it was September, the rice was at its greenest. Once I checked into the hotel, Nok took me to a motorbike rental shop. In Thailand, especially in tourist destinations and smaller towns, it's easy to rent a motorbike and get around on your own schedule. My plan was to ride a sports bike with more horsepower than a regular bike since I wanted to drive up to the mountain. But I ended up with a white scooter and a helmet with a flower. For 
lunch, I stopped by an outdoor restaurant on the side of the road. Though my Thai is not very good and the cook did not speak English, I managed to order sticky rice, smoked pork and beef, and some somdam or papaya salad. It was a great lunch. <laughs> Sticky rice with papaya salad. All from them. Very good. Chili and Mr. Asos. Look, look. Very good. After lunch, I wanted to drive up to the mountain to visit some of the villages and experience their lifestyle. I really loved this part of the trip as I was not in a hurry and I could just stop whenever I saw something I wanted to explore or whenever I wanted to take a pictures or videos. On top of the mountain was a village called Sakat which is about 20 kilometers from Boa town. The cool air and the views reminded me of my village. And I tried to call my wife who was in Bangkok. Okay, so I'm in the mountain and my wife is in Bangkok. She can't come with me because she don't have holiday. So right now I have only 3G. The network is really bad, but I'll try calling my wife and let's see. So this is Susan. Come on, pick up. Oh, okay. Babe, I'm, uh, how are you doing, Susan? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, no. Okay, anyway, we tried. the villagers slowly returning home from work and I imagine my parents making their way back to the village in the evening after work. Life seemed to be slower, quieter here. I did a little bit of shopping and bought some fruit and some hornet larva which is a delicacy back home. So, uh, this is this is a uh, warps. It's very delicious. Look at this banana. So good, it's only 30 baht. It's from the village. After spending two hours in the village, I drove down the mountain towards Pua town. I stopped along the way to buy some traditional northern Thai clothes for Susan and me, and of course to take videos and enjoy the sunset at different locations. Don't you wanna be free when you stay? As I was looking for a place to eat dinner, 
I saw a group of older people playing a game called Pachi Bo. Though I don't understand the rules, I enjoyed watching them play. I have seen so many older couples gathering for a meal, but I have never seen older couples playing games and hanging out together like this. The next evening, I headed for a weekend night market. I saw a group of men and women playing Dokro, a Thai sport known as Geek Volleyball. They were playing in an open field lit only by a block in lights. This also reminded me of playing football and volleyball with my friends at night in my village. Right now I'm in the night market at Pua Nan. So this night market opens only on Friday and Saturday. It seems to be kind of very busy which is very interesting. But one thing here in Thailand, you'll find night market almost every city. <laughs> My trip to Nan was a much needed break from being stuck in Bangkok during quarantine. Nan is a beautiful place that I would love to visit again. I made some new friends, enjoyed the fresh air and the scenery and appreciated the friendly people. Well, it was then time to go back to Bangkok. So my friend took me back to the bus station. In my next video, I will make about different places to visit in Nan. Okay, I'm in the bus station. Um, behind me is the bus. So I'm going back to Bangkok. It's been a wonderful trip here in Kuanan. And if you guys get ever chance to travel to the north, I would really, really highly recommend to travel to Kua. And also, here is my friend, Nok. Hello. So he has been helping me with all the behind the scenes and with all the camera background. So. Thank you for being with me. Uh, well, thanks for coming and visiting. Right. You're most welcome at any time before. All right, thank you. Well, thank you. Bye bye. Safe journey. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Inside. Okay, so no sit. So no sit. Oh, this, yeah, uh, Pua is very nice. Oh, okay. I come here first time, so yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought, I thought you, you like it. Sai, because I, I ran motorcycle. Oh, and then go go, and then went to Sagat. Oh, Sagat. I go oh. yesterday Sagat, and then oh, just enjoy, Kasuka. enjoy. Kasuka. Oh, now my place. I'm then, sorry, very wrong. Actually, I'm from uh, India. Breaking loose and leave the things that kept you chained